welcome old friends and new to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 6th. We take through the early days of January together, always coming here to move further down our paths of hope and healing, coming together here to share yet another daily inspiration. Now, I would like to thank you for allowing me to offer inspiration in this way. As I always say, although we will never completely heal from our loss, we will move forward and I remain honored you share your travels with me. Thank you. That said, let's move on to today's daily inspiration. And January 6th comes from Thomas More, Irish poet, singer, songwriter, and entertainer who lived from 1779 to 1852. Now best remembered for the lyrics of The Minstrel Boy and The Last Rose of Summer. Now for all of his poetic and theatrical success at home, More took the time to travel to the United States where he had the honor of meeting President Thomas Jefferson whom we didn't care for much as Thomas Jefferson mistook him for a child as apparently Thomas More was quite small in stature. Now putting that aside, Thomas More, the adult, gave us the following daily inspiration. This one fairly short, no pun intended, but filled with much thought. Thomas wrote for us. And soon, too soon, we part with pain to sail o'er silent seas again. Actually, these are the final two lines in his poem, The Meeting of the Ships. When I first came upon the lines, they were featured alone, and I took a great deal of meaning in my grief healing from just those two lines. It's all I thought existed. Although in my research, I would later find more to the beginning of that poem, I remained convicted to the inspiration I took from just that excerpt. Maybe you will too. See, I had come to learn, to believe with conviction, that we aren't human beings living a spiritual life, but instead spiritual beings living out a temporary human life, much more than just bones and flesh, existing forever. And we meet here, on this earth, as two ships would meet, and when it comes time to part, there is pain. Yeah, we enjoy our time together immensely, but we are always destined to return to sail over silent seas in what I sense is a desired and needed calm until we're recharged and renewed when we once again find each other. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently, and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comment section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers, and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose. Thank you.